Aloha! Welcome to this... Where the fuck this is? We just, uh, finished, uh, The Last of Us 2 finale. Um, <laughs> if you watched- If you watched the episode of The Last of Us 2, you know why that's a little weird. But, uh, we're obviously a little fried. Because we- we talked a lot just about dumb shit, so we're just gonna talk about fucking manga. Why do I see a- an article that says, Hideo Kojima was stung by at least 10 bees all at once before <laughs> becoming a game designer. What does this mean? <laughs> It's like a fucking Batsu game <laughs> trial. It's like, it's like to become one, you must fucking. Oh my god. No wonder, no wonder he made the fucking uh, dude with the bees MGS3. What was that guy? What was his name? I don't remember either. The fear? Not the fear. The the fear. Oh wait, no, fear is fire. The fear was the, the pain. The pain. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> All I know is pain. All I know is pain. Um. Is he the Phantom Pain? <laughs> the Phantom- <laughs> The Pain- Motherfuckers probably thought, like, that that was actually, like, a The thing. Phantom was the pain we made along the way. I don't think some of these have an English translation yet. What? Some of the manga that I am looking up right now, so we can talk about- I don't fuck it, man! I- I- I-, I, have I Did I mention this on the show? What? Uh, the one manga I'm reading right now, uh... Maybe Last called? of Us. We were talking about manga. It was, um... It was one that you, were uh, One that didn't have translations for, like, 12 chapters. Yeah, it was my- my stepmother's daughter was my ex-girlfriend. That one. It doesn't have, like... I, like... Fuck, dude, like, translate the chapters. Like, I know translation is hard, and I know, like, redrawing is hard as well, but, like... Fuck. Xbox is getting their own exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Xbox group. <laughs> He's so funny. So oh, Harry, is there any manga that you particularly are interested in reading? Interesting, interested in reading? Yes. Um. Too much. If I were okay, I don't. I'm not interested in reading One Piece right now. But if I were to get into One Piece, I'd probably go the manga uh, path. It's a lot. It's a lot faster. Um. And also, Toei. Is bad at animating things. It's probably like 500 episodes of just not fun to look at stuff. Um, do you think that's um, the case now? I mean, like back then though, like One Piece started in like what 19 2000 or no 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 whatever the anime. They were good when it was like on like cells, right? Mm -hmm. But then when it goes to digital, Toei just kind of just doesn't know what to do for the longest time until they figure out. Hey, let's just put a bunch of filters on everything. That's what they did with that's Dragon Ball Super in like the final art arc. Let me like let me send you a picture. Uh DBZ this is a Uh filter. Not filtering rules, you fucking stupid ghoul. Fucking don't that fucking stupid thing. <laughs> stupid fucking stupid fucking shit. <laughs> but it's just this like it's uh, like watching uh Dragon Ball Super all the way through and then getting to like the tournament of power It's super yeah. weird because it looks completely like different Like the art style isn't even like that different. It's still like based off like the Yamamuro design. I think that's that's his name mm -hmm. God, let me get an actual <laughs> no don't show me a zombie bat. I'm talking about the manga That's funny I hate- the Dragon Ball fanbase is super weird, cause they- like, Dragon Ball gets like the worst fan art from like, most of it. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> That's funny. Like, I don't wanna see, like, Goku with Super Saiyan, like, 10,000. Why? Come on. <laughs> Why not? Why wouldn't you? Bro, that was my childhood right there. Super- you never saw Goku Super Saiyan 5 with the white long hair? Oh yes, my favorite. <laughs> My favorite is when they draw like Super Saiyan 100 and they have like five tails and their hair is takes up like the entire frame. <laughs> Bro, like what is this? Who's the guy on the left? Oh, he's from a movie. Oh, no, 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 not a movie. He's a- uh, GT? One of, yeah, he's one of the Shenron dragons from GT. Why would they just- Why is Vegeta like two feet tall? <laughs> he's oh. shorter than Frieza here, what? <laughs> <laughs> they just don't know how to Photoshop Frieza in. <laughs> 
Bro, were, really, was there a time where Krillin and uh, Vegeta were like similar height? No, Vegeta was always taller. Was he? Piccolo should be in the NBA. <laughs> he's like seven foot nine. Like he's think... not like in this picture. He's not that much taller than Krillin. <laughs> and then like they make why Krillin is, look like a toddler. Why is, why is Vegeta so fucking tiny? <laughs> He's always his hair, his hair doesn't even reach go the top of Goku's head. These have to not be to scale, right? No way. No way Krillin is barely taller than fucking baby-ass Gohan. Okay. Baby-ass Gonad. So look at that, right? Okay. Now let me get a screenshot of Dragon Ball Super before that. And just get it from the Frieza arc, I guess. Wait, were they doing cell animation still? No. Oh, no, 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 the, fil the filtering, filtering, right? Yeah. Uh, let me get a quick picture. That would be okay. so cool if, like, companies still did cell animation. Like, I know ah. it's so time-consuming, but, like, fuck, cell animation looks so good. Can't tell if this is from Resurrection F or the actual TV show. Why did it's they the do thing, this? Don't worry. I know, but <laughs> the movie looks a little bit better. <laughs> okay, go for black art. Stop. He's not black. What was it? It's Super Saiyan Rosé. Yep. Uh. Oh, that, that's what Sean Schemmel said, and for some reason, when he goes, okay, when he's in regular form, he has a just a regular Goku accent, right? But when he goes into Super Saiyan Rose, he has a British accent. <laughs> isn't Rosé Italian or something? Oh like no, the, they no, just the, the drink Rosé, cool. isn't that Italian? I, I guess. I'm guessing. Sick. What's sick is knowing the fucking... God, what? Uh, <laughs> All keys. Um, I'm never gonna read the Dragon Ball Super Bongo. Everyone's just getting murdered. I don't- I don't care! I don't care about Dragon- like, like... <sighs> it sucks, cause Super has kinda just diminished... ...any hope for any future Dragon Ball things. I mean, like, Dragon Ball anime, I guess. Or manga. Ancient the Broly Greece, movie ancient was really Greece good. And Roman. Mm. Ancient it Greece and Rome. So yeah, it's like, Italian, basically. The Broly movie is really good. Fighters was really good. Kakarot's okay. But like, Super just sucks. Super manga is just in weird places. I don't know. I don't really, f I don't I really feel I love you some Dragon anything. Ball, but like... Like, it doesn't have the same... I don't feel it anything It does not anymore. have the same, like, feel as, you know, original Dragon Ball. Which sucks, because it was so good. It had that, like, classic 80s just gag novel... Like, not, not novel, but gag manga feel. Roji Dragon Ball is great. Dragon Ball Z is pretty good, and... We GT, the, GT, but... <laughs> the anime that put Luis into commission for a little bit. Uh, so the... I'm just gonna go down the list, and I'm gonna give you a little quick plot All synopsis. Right. Uh, just based on what it has here. Uh, this first one here is called Amano Megumi wa Suki Darake. Which English is, um... English name, please. English title would be Amano Megumi... Oh, other way around. Megumi Amano is full of openings. And, um, the plot. Manubu Shindo is a teenager who works trying- who works hard trying to apply for the University of Tokyo. However, his attempts to study are always hindered by his childhood friend Megumi Ano, who is always careless tits. around him. Giving Manobu some privilege- Yes, yeah, she does. Giving Manobu some privileged views of her curvaceous body. As a result, this leads into a series of comedic situations. Comedic. It is ongoing, and How, I don't uh, know- are you uh, caught up, or- Oh, no, no, I, these are all I want to read. Oh, okay. these are not planning. Yeah, these are not- none of these I've read yet. Um, some of these you'll be very familiar with. The next one is, uh, Armed Girls Machiavellianism. So, we talked about this on, like, a thing, but, uh... It- I, I told you that you should watch the anime, because I think it's really good. Uh... Mm -hmm. But the anime came out in, like... 2016? And, uh... I went on your mail list. To and expected to see your manga on there. You have <laughs> your manga list is. Oh yeah, I, I, I have been like. Well, because I, I haven't read a lot of manga, like Death Note. I mean, you can still put plan to read though. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. It's that's just that's good fine. to keep track of stuff. It takes too much time. <laughs> uh, I really want to. I really love the show, and um, I also re I really just want to read it because I really love the characters. So I'm interested in seeing how that goes. Uh, this one we've already talked about, and uh. Oh, you want to read it? Uh, so far, the first four volumes have been translated to English. Uh, or three. The first. Uh, the first volume has been translated to English. Oh, the second volume is actually coming out on my birthday. Let's go. Uh, this will be long after my birthday by the time this episode comes out. But um, <laughs> the years. Uh, 
uh, a trail of blood, which apparently is called Blood on the Tracks, is the official English title. I don't know that. I like a trail of blood a lot more, to be honest. Yeah. Chi no wadachi. Translate the blood on the track? I guess. I mean, they could just do whatever they want. People would just believe it. Uh, this one is... This one's gonna put me through it. Uh, this one is a really old one. It is, um... The original run began in March 4th... March 14th, 1988. Uh, there's 27 volumes as of right now. Um... Let's go. And it is... And it is, uh, the manga Bastard. Heavy Metal Dark Fantasy. I, I don't know what manga I can compare this to. That's uh, true. Overview. Go. The kingdom of Metallicana <laughs> is attacked by the four lords of havoc. This prompts the high priest to ask his daughter to awaken Dark Schneider, a wizard and former leader of the Riders from within the body of a 14-year-old Luchi Renren. Bastard's history is about sorcery, revenge, and other power struggles in a Dungeons and Dragons-like world. It is a dystopian world where, pe where people need, to need magic to survive against wild beasts and evil monsters. There are four kingdoms, each one of the protectors of one of four seals that keeps the god of destruction in stasis. While the first half of the manga files mostly is themed to drag Dungeon Dragons and Arrows, it later also focuses on aspects such as belief, morals, and religions. Apparently it's a really good manga, so interested in reading that. I'm looking at it and then he's giving me the 80s vibes. <laughs> 80s. You know it could you know it wouldn't be a, a loose you know it wouldn't be a loose list if we didn't have some fucking etchy in here. No. So uh, yeah, this guy this one, the, the author has only really made bastard and some other stuff i'm not like his only like, main work it's like his only main work i mean i'm i'm looking at mal and just says published manga bastard sick and he did like character <laughs> designs for a couple anime uh this one i don't know you've probably you might have heard about it uh i think it's on high manga deck set, states it's on hiatus um mm. but uh it's called <laughs> chastity reverse world oh no in our current society most porn consumers are males we're the ones yes. who we're the ones who think with our dicks many times. We worship the female body in our society, products, advertisements, and many other things are centered around that. But what if it wasn't that way? What if instead of men being the ones controlled by their sexual urges, women were the ones who bought porn magazines and had the most interest in sex? What if the moral standards between men and women were reversed? <laughs> I mean... I, it's, <laughs> I just kind of I just kind of have to sit back and think just how the fuck do people just think of these concepts and just think yeah, I can make a whole story out of this oh cause you're gonna think that about the next one <laughs> oh. uh it's called dead it's not it's not bad but it, it's, a, it's a sort of out there concept it's called dead tube um it's just going off the wikipedia thing. when you're dead you get put into a tube uh, Tomohiro Machia is a member of the Film Research Club. Is called a school is called by school idol Mai Mashiro to film her. After he films her swimming, she asks him to film her continuously for two days and he agrees. Everything seemed normal until Mashiro kills her quote unquote boyfriend, who was a former bully and delinquent. We, while Machia films it all, he then finds out Mashiro is uploading videos to a website called DeadTube, where users post content and are rewarded with money based on the number of views they get. The users are encouraged to post videos, but there is a catch. The person or people whose video gets the fewest views has to pay for the expenses and the crimes of all of the participants. As Machia gets dragged deeper and deeper into the world of Dead Tube, he starts questioning his ambiguous relationship with Mashiro and the dark feelings lying within himself. Jesus fucking Christ. Dead Tube? They really had to name it Dead Tube? <laughs> um... That sounds... That sounds interesting, like, I, I can see be a good, good story. I don't have a summary for this one, but it's, it's, it's a really, really fucked up horror manga called Dokumushi. I, I don't have, I don't have like a quick summary of it, so <laughs> that's about all I can say. Some of these I won't have a summary for because I don't, I don't have like a, anything There's to no say synopsis? about it. There's no synopsis? Yeah. Or... Uh, I just, I like, can't find like a Wikipedia page or something. What is it called? Uh, Dokumushi. Dokumushi. It's spelled how it sounds. There's a film called Dokumushi. I think it got like a. I think it got an adaptation that sucks. I think I think it was a Dokatsu. <laughs> it's 3.9 out of 10 on IMDb. Let's go. Usually the IMDb is the higher one. <laughs> Not usually, but okay. I see a summary. Um, a group of very different people wake up together in a sealed environment of an abandoned school building. This includes the college students. You mean Raiji? Uh, Karabat girl named Akane, uh, and a, uh, a cult obsessed salaryman named Yukitoshi. 
a punk factory worker named Toshio, an unemployed pedophile named Taichi, and a nine-year-old girl named Michika. Why is there a pedophile and a nine-year-old near each other? The building in which they find themselves has running water, no food, and a timer set for seven days. When they find a cleaver and a hot pot in the upstairs classroom... Jesus Christ, what the fuck are you putting on your to-read to list, man? I am dark. Is this still ongoing? I, I think so. A lot of these are horror. Yeah, this is horror. Um, this is pain. <laughs> Why is- what the fuck's the nine-year-old supposed to do? <laughs> nine-year-old built different. <laughs> I don't know about y'all- y'all nine-year-olds, but my nine-year-old can beat up a- <laughs> Beat up a big- A big, uh... Bodybuilder. Beat up Abby. <laughs> yes. Th this one doesn't even have a fucking synopsis on Mal. What the hell? That's like the one place that I would expect it to have it. I found it on Manga Cackalot. <laughs> um, God. oh my Cackalot, ugh. Just because the Japanese occasionally will say a word that has an R or an L and switch the two <laughs> doesn't mean that his name is Cackalot. <laughs> uh, this next one is, uh, I don't know what the English title will be. Uh, Hazureta Mina no Atama no Neji. I know some the of those manga. words. The horror manga has a really cute girl. I can't. I don't know all these words. I don't know. I know any Mina of those means words. everyone. I don't know a single one of those words. Oh, I think I, Hazurete Mina no Atama no Neji. The fuck are you? Every, you're just you're every, casting a spell on me. I think it's everybody's <laughs> screw is loose. Can we confirm this? <laughs> Am I just supposed to ask a Japanese man? You don't got one on speed dial? No! Abe was the only one and he- he took me off! Oh yeah, it's everyone's- everyone- oh, everyone's loose screw. Interesting. Uh... Finally, we got a fucking synopsis. Uh, this one is called, Hitomi-chan is shy with strangers. I think you probably heard of this, right? Uh, I think it's a- I think it's a similar genre to like, stuff like Nagatoro, Takagi-san, Uzaki-chan, stuff like that. My favorite genre. Um, one day, an ordinary second-year high schooler named Usami Yu accidentally encounters Takano Himo Hitomi, a big girl with a scary look. Turns out she's glaring at him, but why? Although Hitomi looks scary and awkward, she's actually a kind and adorable girl who simply wants to become more sociable. This is a story containing happy, heartwarming slice-of-life comedy. See, I'm not all pain. That's a lot of pain. Uh, continuing with not, not, not a lot of pain. Uh, I can't understand what my husband is saying. The series centered around the daily lives of Kawaru. A heart. Huh? <laughs> I said, okay, so I said series, and my phone thought I said Siri. Oh, wonderful. Uh, around the daily lives of Kawaru, a hardworking office lady and her husband, Hajime, who is an otaku, an obsessed. Oh, I know what that is. Uh, Using popular anime and otaku tropes and jokes, the character explore the conflicts and similarities between daily life and otaku culture in urban Japan. The witty dialogue accentuates the animation and sometimes slips into manzai style humor. You haven't been watching any anime this season, right? Nope. Sadly. Uh, <laughs> Uzaki-chan has a bunch of JoJo references. <laughs> I don't know why. How do you I, even I, know I, what the references are, Goofy? Because they'll change- like, they'll change the art style. <laughs> Um, what is that what, that one fucking uh, No Game No Life has one where, uh, the MC and Shiro, like, they totally do, like, the fucking, um, I know what your, line, I know what your next line though. is gonna be. A lot of animes do, uh, do that. Even Naruto, like, the OVA does that. I think, have we talked about this one? This sounds like something we talk about. What? It's, um, Killing Stalking. It's a manhwa. Oh, I mean... I've, 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 I haven't read it, but I know of the community, and the community scares me. Really? Yes. I, 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 I know it's really good, but they what, what's scare wrong, me. What, what's wrong with the community? What? They love you. Okay, you know how there are girls out there that uh, romanticize uh, Jeffrey Dahmer, or some, some shit like that. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, they love. They love people that murder in there, in that mo in the community. 
The story follows Yoon Bum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a real bum. <laughs> a young, mentally ill man with a difficult past, after becoming infatuated with Oh sang appeared from his time in the military who saved him from a rape attempt. He decided to enter sang home while he's out of the house. Yoon Bum finds a bruised woman in sang basement and is then discovered by sang who revealed to be a serial killer. sang then breaks his legs and kidnaps him despite Yoon Bum's previous love for him. Just destroys his ankles. <laughs> he got jolted. <laughs> He didn't die, though. The next one, everybody's favorite, Komi-san can communicate. Let's go! I got she's pretty really, far in it. She's really fucking cute. Yep. Yeah. Fucking cutest, man. The only, more, the only character more wholesome than her is Mob. Mob is the Komori most wholesome character of all time. Komori-san can't decline. 15-year-old Komori Shuri is a junior high school girl who is too nice to decline requests, constantly doing favors for other people and has given her incredible strength, but even so, she's an adolescent junior high school girl. An anime overflowing with ups and downs of everyday life. Oh, this is the anime synopsis, but I want to read the manga, because the manga is really good. <laughs> the anime synopsis? What's that? Well, the anime synopsis can't be that different. Yeah, it's probably the same thing, right? I mean, sh sh should be. Is there any genre of, like, Anything that you can't read? Mm, no. Not really. I could I, probably I like, read anything. I'm pretty good about most things. Like, I just... Uh... I can, like... You're really bad at reading good stuff. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Please. My, f my fault, Don't bro. Don't hurt me. My fault. Uh... Bro, what is this picture? What picture? <laughs> what are they doing? In public? <laughs> you wanna know what's the worst video? The the mo the like the video that like gets like makes me crawl out of my skin or whatever it is. It's these videos where like these extremely introverted people in cosplay decide to go like to some like public area like Walmart. There's one of those like people dressed up as like Giorno from fucking part five of Jojo and they're like in Walmart they're doing like inside jokes and it's so it hurts. It actually hurts me. Oh my god. Like I like I hate I hate like people okay you know what I hate? People. We I've mentioned it how I hate people. Um you know how like I've mentioned that like I hate cringe culture, like quote unquote whatever that fuck that is? Uh, like, what, what part of cringe culture do you hate? Do you hate the people that just, just say everything's cringe, or do you I hate, hate just like, cringe I, stuff? Okay, you know that like one video of like the kid who's like, who's like, at, who like goes up to Burger King and he's like, "Oh, you don't have like, you don't have chicky nuggies or whatever, Bruh. Like I I hate like people who are like that and real. <laughs> Fuck off. People who are <laughs> Burger King for lettuce. The last thing you want, you Burger King burger. You don't have that? Bruh. <laughs> I hate I hate people like that so much. This is band so, kids. Yeah, basically band kids. Like I they're so infuriating to me. Like they make me angry. Um like God, and it's like you know what the you, okay you know what the thing is too is that sometimes they're not even bad kids right like they're not even bad people yeah they're, they're just, just trying to have they're like they just don't know they don't have a concept of like they don't have like that concept of like when to turn like that switch off you know what I mean it's like yeah like obviously if the person has like a, a thing like a not an issue but. I mean, yeah, we're talking about we're talking about we're talking about right, like people that we're talking about people who function completely well, right? Like, <laughs> there's no reason that you need to pull up to Burger King and ask for foot Burger lettuce. King foot lettuce <laughs> while wearing a fucking blazer and like a fucking uh, Steven Universe T-shirt and shorts and like shoes that are like. Oh God, ah. <laughs> I know so many people like that, and I hate it. I hate, <laughs> I hate it. Because they're... Bruh. So it's just, it's you so You don't know annoying. what the Big Chungus burger is? They treat Big Chungus like it was their fucking father. Like, if you if you don't bow down to Papa <laughs> Chungus, you're gonna fucking die. 
Uh, cringe, cringe compilations are so funny. Oh my god, I hate. <laughs> we should do. So, we should do like later on. We should do like I. I, I want to. I'm going to force you to watch cringe compilations. I hate you. <laughs> and with the face cam, with the face cam too. Just so we can just like, this see is gonna you sound like have pain. This is gonna sound completely awful. Is there like any type of like I won't say people. Is there any personality that you hate? Personality. Like, cause there are like I just I find sometimes I hate that the like fuckboy personality. My fault. But maybe it's because they get more pussy then. No, they're just usually like sometimes they're just assholes. They're just like what, yeah, bro? Why you- You haven't gotten pussy? <laughs> you reading manga? You fucking, fucking loser. Okay, one of the things I genuinely, <laughs> genuinely hate is, like... And, you know, I'm guilty of it too, but, like, I use it completely in, like, an ironic sense, not as an insult, right? Like, I hate people using, like, sex as an insult, right? Like, you're still a fucking virgin? You fucking virgin? It's like, who, <laughs> who, uh, what? Who? What? It's it's I'm not, it's super weird I'm not, that I'm not in I'm not in control like I have partial control of that but I don't got full control of that. It's it's kind of weird that like society has gone to this point where you are made fun of for not having premarital sex. I'm not trying to sound like some fucking religious goof, but like you shouldn't be like rushing people into it. Like that's just it's an odd. Like there are people in middle school that are like. Entering middle school, that probably like, they like they do it, and it's like what, like they sh it mentally scars them. It's like what, like they just it's just this. It's because this. Uh, I feel I feel I'm the Russian I I'm, people. I first did it when I was fourteen. Like that's like, crazy. Like, I feel I I feel like I'm sort of like lucky that I'm able to enjoy it now and not have like a completely negative opinion of it, right? Because like that shit is. I won't say traumatizing per se, but it's like I think I think the first time you have it, it's like it's very dependent on the person you have it with. And if like if you have it with a person that's like, not the and when you're person. in middle school, you make bad choice, like you make bad choices. You make bad choices, you make bad choices hang, like could, all the time, like hang out with the wrong group of people, or like it's just it's super like it's super weird that these kids are just like making fun of people for doing for not like just doing something just as stupid as having intercourse it's like i know that like like obviously there are there are people that like have that virgin energy that are just you know the burger king foot lettuce people right it's like i don't want to be mean but it's like sometimes i like you could look at a person and be like yeah, that girl, that guy is a virgin. Right? I like all the all, and all I'm the one of them. Be like, you can look at me. King, oh fuck off! I like all the Burger King foot lettuce people. I like, I like look at them and I'm like, bro. The thing is, they do pull. They pull one of their own. But that is like, that the good? Girls are like, is that good? The girls are like hunched over with like a bump on like their like the back of their neck because they're super <laughs> hunched over all the time, and like so have like, braces is that good? like. Like, is that a good thing that they ha that that happens? For them, sure. <laughs> is that like the modern form of inbreeding? <laughs> <laughs> the baby's just gonna be the ultimate big chungus. Oh my god. God. Oh my god. god. How Harry, do we get Harry, to this? Harry, Harry, there is. I, I will continue with my manga list in a second. Harry, there is a person in this world who legitimately is gonna put on a birth birth certificate application <laughs> first name big, middle name Chungus there's no I refuse there, there was gay Bowser for a long time you don't think somebody's gonna Bowser do that gay Bowser died People, you don't think somebody's gonna do that kids named Come on. big Chungus <laughs> I'm looking this up please tell me this isn't true somebody's first name gonna do it, big, right? last name not, maybe not last name Chungus, but... Last name Chungo. <laughs> Is that your age? Yes, I'm 13. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So like your age. Yeah, there I'm are 13. fewer than 123 people in the US with the last name Chungus. How many of them are <laughs> there named are, Big? Okay. There are one or fewer people in the US named the Big Chungus. 
Oh, hold on. That's one too many. God, imagine geez. having the misfort- Okay, imagine this. Imagine being like Roger Chungus, right? And then like, you have the misfortune of having the last name Chungus, and then you also have the added misfortune of your son being a fucking cringe Mimi, and then like, and then he, he names his son Big. <laughs> it's like, you know like the, like the Japanese like, you've brought shame to our family, <laughs> like... Like, if, I, if my last name was Chungus and my son named my grandson Big, I would disown him. Okay, if my last name was Chungus, I'd definitely name my son Big. At this point, you okay, at, at this point, you Big Chungus- You are what's Chungus, wrong with this world. Okay, at this point, Big Chungus is ironic, ironically funny. Okay, but like, imagine somebody did this in like, 2016. Okay, I wouldn't do that in 2016. I, I, I'd save my son. But if- Look, let's say it was 30 years after the meme happened, I would name- I would definitely name my son Big Chungus. Bro, come on! It'd be so funny, I'd laugh every time I look at my son. <laughs> he'd be wondering- asshole. He'd be wondering why, I'm never gonna tell him. <laughs> he'll, he'll like, one of these days, like, look up his name and have like that big movie moment where he realizes his entire life is a lie. <laughs> I thought I was the only Big Chungus. And then he spends the rest of his life. It's like a, it's like a manga. He's like he spends the rest of his life trying to murder the big chunk. <laughs> he tries to murder me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> how do we end up here? <laughs> Another thing, bad thing with names, like you know, uh, I'm not gonna say it's worse. What's worse than, I mean, not worse, but there's something worse than naming your fucking child after a meme. Naming your child after a TV show character and the TV show becoming terrible later on. <laughs> the thing that happened with the Game of Th like Khaleesi, Game of Thrones oh, character, oh and then that character becomes like the hated character at the end. Oh my god, this is so bad. Oh, <laughs> uh, what would like let's, out of your favorite anime? What would be a character that you would like? Like, not, I'm not asking you if you would name them, but like, let's say you if you named them, that would be mm -hmm. you like later on in the show that you would feel like so bad naming them. Like, what character has like? Hit rock a bottom for you that you liked at the beginning. Uh, I it's not an example of anything that I know, but imagine somebody name. I will, I guess not, but imagine somebody naming their son Griffith. <laughs> this is a Berserk fan. Like that's if it, like if it was like when the chapters were first coming out, and they were like, "Oh, this guy's a good, good this guy's a good person." <laughs> I mean, they, I mean, <laughs> stop, stop sending pictures. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> He's wearing like a Gucci belt or something. <laughs> like in the like in like the first like thirty chapters, like oh this Griffith guy's cool. Let me name my son after him, and then he gets hit the eclipse, and you're just like, what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? Why would I do this to my son? I've seen this picture of a of like a really old fact. Is that Boogie? Two five zero zero one or whatever. It's like it's like it looks like him in a Sailor Moon cosplay. I hate it. <laughs> um, probably not him. It's probably just another fat nerd. Do you fuck with Boogie? No, I, I never really either. watched any. Of I his watched him. I watched him a little bit, but like, I just <sighs> watched like him getting mad at like Diablo three or some shit. Like that was like a long time ago too. Did, did, you Mountain, did you drink my Mountain Dew? Did you drink my Mountain Dew? Let me show my breath. <laughs> it's like, um... I just feel he's like... Uh... You don't watch Mudahar, right? Some Ordinary Gamers? Um... I, I watch some of his videos. I watch his E3... Uh... But lately, I watch his H3H3 H3 videos. Uh... He's done a bunch of videos on, like, the whole, like, quote-unquote drama with Buggy. And it's like... <sighs> I... Man got what fucked. I just, I just feel sometimes, you know, it's like when a person clearly needs help, but they don't take it. It's like, I just, I don't, a part of me doesn't understand why they would cry victim. You know I what guess I mean? it's just, they're so, I don't like, full of themselves, I guess. But they just well, like, not, it, well, like, I don't they even have think no it's perception of reality. Yeah, right? It's like, I mean, he's still like, he, he, 
on a mental level, he's not getting help, but he's he's losing weight, you know? I mean, he's slimmed down. So, I mean, physically, at least, he's, you know, getting the help he needs. But <laughs> is it really worth it if, at the end, mentally, you're, you're still just... You're batshit crazy. You're like a husk of a human. Yeah. I'm, calling, I'm not gonna call him a husk of a human. Like, let's say if this <laughs> continues, I guess. <laughs> uh, it's... <laughs> I'm just going to talk trash about them without even, like, watching any of the videos on them. <laughs> or knowing them personally. <laughs> that's, a, that's a thing that I, like, I find sometimes, and it's like, uh, with, you know, what people have, like, a sort of issue with Game Grumps as well, is, um... And I think really, excuse me, I think really any content creator, right, it's like... You... There is the persona that they have when they are on screen, right? And yeah. then there is, like, a persona, there is, like the real, the quote-unquote real them, like, off-camera, mm -hmm. like... Like, they could just be a normal person on camera, and then they're just saying the N-word, you know, off-camera, you know? Or, like, um... Just like me. <laughs> I feel, I feel the cases with, I feel it's sort of like Get a different it. case with... I feel like it's a different case with Aaron, though, right? Because, like, I think he, beca like, he portrays he became, himself as, like... Like, you can tell... I don't know, I don't know why I watched this video, but there was a video he made without like he was by himself it was a game grumps video and mm -hmm. you could like tell by his voice that it was completely different than like when he's playing with dan now it's like what what is like is him by himself what he thinks he's like what he perceives himself as he is or i mean like well, obviously the I one with dan is he lets his guard down most of the time because you know he's talking to another human you know well, you usually no, let your guard down be, i think it might be the opposite though right like I feel he- I feel like Aaron is probably like a really chill person in actuality, and is just like, portrays himself and acts up for the show- acts up for the camera, sort of, uh, like, person- personifies himself whenever he's doing the show with Dan. I think That's when he did like- I think when he does like solo episodes, he's like a lot more relaxed, cause he's just like, I don't have to like, fill gaps in terms of like- Play this other person? Yeah, or- or like, fill gaps, right? Cause like, it's like, I- the thing is, like, people say, like, the dynamic of old Gangrams used to be, like, Aaron was the straight man and John was the crazy guy, right? But it was, like, if you go back and watch Gangrams, it wasn't never really like that. It was more it was just, kind a, of like... both crazy. Yeah. Like, they had like their Aaron, moments of being the crazy or straight man. It, it, was just, it was just that Aaron... It was just that Aaron was calm a lot more. And it's, like, just because somebody is calm doesn't necessarily mean that they're playing the straight man. Whereas, like, I feel, I feel like he, I feel with Dan, genuinely, he is a straight man sort of comedian, and therefore, like, Aaron was like, oh, well, I have to pick up the slack. So, like, a lot of people think that that's, like, Aaron switched his role in the dynamic, but it's like, if you watch, I think he definitely did do that at some point, but I feel like 2013, like, when Dan first joined the show to, like, uh, 2016-ish, like, I feel Aaron was, like, not that... I feel Aaron didn't personify himself as that. I feel like he was just sort of how he was with John. Which is why I still love a lot of the Game Grumps series from that era. Like, um, a Wind Waker or yeah. what have you. Uh, and it's it's interesting to think because, like, you know, you and I are the exact same on camera as we are off camera. For the most part. Like, what if later on we just, we put up a face for the show? I don't think- I don't think either of us are like that, though. Like, we personify ourselves, or... The audience thinks of us as something, and because we look at, like, the comments, we're kind of like... It- it sets something off in our brain that we are that person. That is, I uh, think, I, what is it called? Fuck, it's called something. Um... Uh, oh, what the fuck is it? Well, let me try to find this. I think, you know... I think you and I are both grounded people. I don't think, I don't think, I don't, like, I've, I, I don't change my opinion on things a lot. I'm very much of like, once I set my thing on something, I'm gonna stay like that, right? Whereas like, I, I don't think, I don't think either of us will have, would ever have the issue of like, off, on camera, we're something other than whatever we are off camera. I mean, we do, we certainly are different on camera now than how we are when we're, uh, not necessarily when you and I, are together we're we're pretty much the same but um like when both of us are alone we're very different i mean that's just human like that's yeah. naturally like 
Well, like, let, let's say, like, like you you put on like a persona to you know, you just you know be accepted you match by other per- people. I, I think I think you match the personality of whoever you hang out with, right? I think, I think to a degree, everybody is sort of like has that sort of chameleon type personality where it's not necessarily that they're going to change who they are, but they'll do things to like reflect or sort of accommodate to what um, somebody is like. Where you know, like it's. I think, I think I think you know. Sometimes I sometimes I do wonder. It's like. This person will portray themselves as like a really... They'll, they'll portray themselves as like a really good human on camera. But what if they're an asshole off camera? Or like, this person is like such a dick on camera, but like, what if they're like a sweetheart off of it? It's like... It, it's sort of it's sort of it's like, like Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay's a fucking sweetheart whenever he's not insulting people. Yeah. Like, look at him on like the show... Uh, uh what is it? Uh, with Ma- Master Chef Kids or whatever it's called. Yeah, the one with children. Like he's not fucking yelling at him because he's like, wasn't not. There, wasn't there like even on like regular like Master Chef? He knows that these people are just like they're not amateurs, but you know they're they're not like they're not supposed to be these professional, you know, chefs, right? He'll still like insult him if he gives if if they he give, they give him shit food, right? Yeah. But when they're like looking for help or like he he's less like angry. As he is on the uh, Hell's Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen, the people he's working with are people like he want like people that are trying to get a job in his kitchen, which are people he has he has he has to hold them to a higher standard, which is why he gets really mad when they make a simple mistake. Yeah, like forgetting a sauce for a dish. A lamb sauce. <laughs> but like people know him from Hell's Kitchen more than like a lot of things, and also like yeah. kitchen nightmares. Kitchen Nightmares, it's like, it's a thing where he's usually nice until they get on his bad side, where they start, like, rejecting his changes, right? It's Mm. like, you're You're really gonna reject the change of a masterclass chef, and that's just, like, that that, that would anger, like, anyone in a profession trying to give help, like, offer help, like, free help, basically, to fix your entire restaurant. And that's when he gets really mad. And also he gets really mad when, you know, there's poor uh, cleaning going on, which is like you're actively putting people in danger. You're you're an asshole. I think any hu- regular human would be angry about that. Like if I go to the, like uh, into a kitchen of a place that I frequently eat at and I see like rats fucking pl- uh, playing some fucking dominoes with each other, I'm going to be fucking <laughs> mad. I just, I, there, there's like the one, there's like the one fear I sort of have, and it's like, it's sort of like a fear I have of just people in general, right? Where it's like, um, if, if we do become bigger, like, will we eventually have to, like, experience the fact that, like, some of the people we might be working with are, like, bad people outside of the work? Because I, I trust, I trust and love you enough to know that you're going to be a good human for the rest of your life. Whereas, like, I'm, I don't know this other person. I don't like, know what kind of life they've had. The smash allegations. Yeah. Like all it's that. Like, like people worked with those people and thought they were cool people. They worked with them. They they made videos with them. They had fun times with them. But in the background, that person was just an asshole. A pedophile. You know? And it's sort of like... It is like my one fear. And I guess it is just sort of a fear like... I'm like not talking close enough to my mic. Um, it is just sort of like a fear I have, I guess, of that's like sprawn from, uh, you know, uh, just fear of people in general. God, I want to find out what that fucking thing is called. It's on like the podcast I watch. It's like something to do with like identity. Fuck. Identity disorder list. Uh, this, this, uh, this next manga up on the list. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're still yeah, doing yeah. that. Uh, it's called a. Uh, it has the same fucking thing that Hunter Hunter has. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's M zero or M X zero. Just just uh, include the X. It sounds cooler anyway. M M X zero. Um, yeah, that does sound cooler. Um, it tells a story of about a school that teaches students how to do magic magic and the crazy antics of a normal boy who was admitted under special circumstances. Uh, it sounded cool. Uh, I like. 
um, magic Dissoci- shit. Dissoci- okay, I found it. Dissociative Identity Disorder. What is that? What is that? Uh, disorder characterized by the presence of two or more distinct personality states. Hmm. Which is like... When... Like, there's your, there's your regular persona. And, you know, what we talked about. And there's your on-camera persona. Or even like... Uh... Like, how you're perceived by other people. Like, you know, like... Not only is, like, you... Not only is that cho- like... What's in your head is from you. Yeah. Like, you putting on a thing. It's also from... Like, you couldn't... You don't even need to be actively trying it. The people that watch you... They're all gonna have their own different version of you. And sometimes mm-hmm. those versions of... Like, they, they think of... That's so how they know as, uh, as you... And they talk about you like that, and you read these comments, and you're like, you're thinking like in yourself, "Am I like that?" And you're like, you kind of like get that like, you know, that disorder, and you think of yourself as that person at times, right? And, mm-hmm. it, and it really like affects a person mentally when people online are telling you what you are, and you start thinking to yourself, "Am I really that?" Yeah, there's um, you know uh. I don't know if you know her. She's a, she's like a drawing YouTuber. Uh, uh, Emmy Chiru, I think is her, her name. Uh, Emmy Chiru? Chiru? Yeah. Yeah. It's spelled how you, it, it, it's spelled how you would think it would be spelled. Uh, with a U at the end. Uh, M- she's like a, M, Emmy. E-M-I. E-M-I. I put two, two M's. Okay. Uh, she's like a storyboard YouTuber or whatever, mm. right? Uh, I haven't, and, like, I haven't seen ca- hers, but I've seen other storyboard YouTubers. She's like a, she's like a really like sweet person, like on camera, right? Mm-hmm. But um, like uh, Connor C Dog VA uh was talking about on the Trash Taste Pod, uh, how like um, you know, everybody is always like, oh, she's like, she's like a, she's like a, a Disney princess. She's like so, uh, like majestic or like um, really ordained right and like connor was talking about how like when he like met her he, he was surprised to find out that she was like actually like really raunchy and like uh out there with like her jokes and stuff and it was like yeah there's nothing <laughs> like, wrong with that when it doesn't really like no, doesn't really it, affect the people around you it's just it, kind of it, like it, a shock it's a, yeah it's interesting to me to like think that like somebody could watch this and have like a certain perception of you or me yeah, and, it's like the end, but, like the end of Evangelion, the anime, mm-hmm. not 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 the not the movie, but like how people perceive you. Like there's the like how in in Shin, when Shinji was in like the the weird like uh, the I don't know what to call it, like the dream like state, right? When Sh- when Shinji was in the Hideki Anno going batshit. Yeah, it's like there's a version of you that's in your head. There's a version of you that's in uh. Uh, As- Asuka's head. There's a version of you that's in Rei's head. There's a version of you in Gendo's head. There's a version of you in everyone's head that's different. Maybe not totally different from each other, but different in slight aspect. And it's based on how they know you. How much of the, like they know you. It, it, it It's weird to think about as well of like... And also how people perceive like uh, behavioral aspects in your actions. Mm-hmm. You could give two people the exact same video of a person, and they'll have different ideas of you. Some people, like, I, I, I've gotten this just from, like, talking to people. Some people, like, just based on first impression of me, like, when they first talk to me, they'll be like, I didn't expect you to be so nice. I'm like, <laughs> and I, like I don't get upset, but I'm just like, why is that? <laughs> My, like, <laughs> and I have, and like... And it, it's always... It, it never fails. It's always that, like, you just have that face that makes me think that you're mean. Yeah, like, resting bitch face. Which plagues me as well. Like, people, a lot of people have looked at me and thought I'd have a deeper voice, or I'd be more mean to them. But when they start talking to me, and I start, like, maybe, like, helping them with a problem or something, if they're sitting next to me, they see a totally different version of what they previously thought. And that's just based on looks. Uh, as humans... We all, we, we have, like, we always judge a book by a cover. We don't act on it mo- most of the time. We kind of just keep it on our head, like, 
we don't even need to be mean about it. We could just we perceive things based on looks because that's the first thing we that's the first impression a person can ever get of another person. I think I think or like me, if you're doing like, on calls, this is a voice, you know. Uh, I think for me, it's like I know like an issue people have that like not with me, but like an issue that like people like find initially with me is that like. The, the one that I always get is people never expect my personality. Like, I never, like, I, like, just based on, like, first impression, because here's the thing about me, and it's like, I'm not, like, saying it to brag, but, like, usually, my first impression of you is always right. It's like, a, like, majority of the time I've ever, like, met somebody, and, like, my very first impression of them, it's, like, usually always been right. I've, like, I can, th I, I can't even think, I actually can't even think about one time that I was wrong about it, right? Mm -hmm. And... But what was your first impression of me? I thought you were cool. But like, how would it be really, really first impression? Like, first time seeing me. I don't remember. Instead when the of first like time talking to me, you know. I don't remember when the first time seeing you was. I don't even remember when that was. Neither do I. Because <laughs> I, I don't think we, like we didn't talk. Like we never said anything in middle school. But you, no. we, I think I I remember you from the. The stupid Doctor Who club. I think I it saw you. It wasn't an actual club. You just walk in there and watch the fucking episode. Yeah, basically. But like, I think I saw you a few times at Doctor Who club. I mean, I I'm know, not I that hard to notice. I, I don't. Rem I don't remember of like. I th you probably <laughs> didn't think a of anything. You're just like, oh. That's I think. Guy. I think like I might have saw you like wore a tie, and I'd be like, fuck, I want to wear a tie too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that might be as bad as a fedora. I, I legitimately, I, I, I like, I don't, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this. I love dressing. Like, I love, like, clothing. Like, like it people- It gives you confidence. No, I, like, people will be like, you're, <laughs> Sasha tells me this all the time. She's like, you're such a material person. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I know. <laughs> like, I, I made a joke to her last night. It's so fucked. I was like, I'm the one who capitalism was built for. <laughs> You are the consumer. <laughs> I am the consumer. <laughs> um, it's um, uh, like I think it, it, maybe it's because clothes give you a weird confidence. They do. Like, I just hate on clothes or not. When you put a suit on, it, you feel like a different person. I always look good in a suit. Like that's the that's like I I will always be like I'm always like I I just naturally. Just because of my personality, I'm always, like, sort of, like, eh, about myself, right? But, like, the one time I ever feel confident in my life is whenever I can wear a suit. Because I know I look good in a suit. Like, one time I'm like, yeah, I got that shit. Yeah, look at episode 32 of Zelda. Um, with me, I usually put on, put it on and I feel cool. Then I look into the mirror and I'm like, eh, it's okay. That's just, you know. That happens to a lot of people. I think, I think, I think, I, I the think mirror I remember, really, the, like, the mirror is probably the most, uh, destructive creation known to man. I will, I will, like, put in an outfit and I'll be like, I'm gonna look like a fucking million dollars. And then, then I'll look, you, in, look yeah. in the mirror and I'm like, fuck. Like, imagine if you didn't have that mirror. Like You'd walk out with confidence, right? Like, if you had no way to look at yourself. But I think it, it's, the not, mirror, it's like, not all so bad, though. I think the mirror definitely does it, help. It does you out, help. Though. It helps you not look like a, a fool. But like the mirror has kind of like it's it's a double edged sword. A society that your your looks matter because like if we go back to the caveman days, it doesn't matter what the fuck you look like. This is the I'm sorry to interrupt you. This is the most like Joe Rogan we've ever got on this <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Joe, Rogan. okay, I, I, okay. I watched I watched the Ben Shapiro podcast. And uh -huh. I don't agree with what Ben Shapiro says, but it's so funny just listening to him talk. He's so <laughs> fast, and it's just he just says some like theoretically speaking, of course. Uh, my my cock is pretty large. Uh, but if hypothetically speaking, what if my balls were long? And then Joe Rogan's like, yeah, yeah. Pull up the clip of the monkey. <laughs> like, he's, like, he's like, yeah, I never thought of it like that. Hey, Jamie, pull up the clip. Can we see if his balls are kind of that big? <laughs> we'll be like, oh, man, that, that kid dying in that car crash was so sad. You ever seen a monkey jump down from a tree and land on his balls? Jamie, no, bring up the clip. I don't think I clip. have. All right. 
I think I'm gonna listen to more Joe Rogan because it's just. Oh, dude, the okay. Joe Rogan pod. Okay, I don't agree with Joe Rogan's politics, right? Po politically, but you should be watching the other side of the spectrum a lot. Yeah, like for sure. It's like it's not you're not supporting them. <laughs> like you don't even I need to like agree with them. It's just to <laughs> to see the other side of. <laughs> <laughs> I've, talked, I've talked about the fucking Alex Jones podcast. <laughs> like, if you if you just want the best four hours of your day, just listen to the <laughs> Joe Rogan and Alex Jones podcast. It is the funniest thing I have ever fucking listened to. I, I mentioned this during Mario. It was like it was like there's that one part where like <laughs> Alex Jones like starts crying over like his family that died in the 18th century like a dream. <laughs> <laughs> it's like and he like legit starts crying. It's like, what? Oh, it's so fucking. Dreams are funny. super weird. Dreams are super weird. Like it's crazy how our brains are able to create these. It's it's just thoughts, but able to create. You. Have you had sleep paralysis? No, wait, I, I, no, I think you did ask me. I have had it. I believe I had it once as a kid. I didn't mm -hmm. know what it was, so I can't like it's not solidified in my mind that it was. But mm -hmm. it was the I remember a nightmare. Basically, it was literally just me laying in my bed, looking at the door frame and this like creature blue glowing creature was just there. And I was just super scared. That could just be a dream. But that, that, like, that's like the exact same thing as sleep paralysis, like, is. You're in your bed, can't move, staring at this creepy thing, because your brain is, like, in in creative mode. It's like, it, 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 it from what my understanding is, because, um, you know Vincent and, um, you know Chris? Chris... last uh, name? Larry, Larry sent this, please. Uh... Maybe if I see a picture... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll send it to you as I explain. Um, <clears throat> oh, he's former U.S. Uh, representative. Uh, I yeah, know him. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> um, uh, Why did I look him up? I said if he was just going to show up. <laughs> uh, I sent it to you on, uh, what's your, who's it? Uh, Instagram. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I got this. Oh, what? What? I got the most fake ass Google email I've ever seen from Google. Oh, no reply. Notice of Clash Action Settlement. Re Google Plus. Your rights may be affected. Is this an actual thing? I feel like at the end it's going to be like, this is signed into your Google account. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, keep going. What, did, what happened both, to them? They both told me about uh, like their experiences. Imagine uh, sharing a sleep paralysis moment with someone. Like, you know, like those stories of people that like dream of the same thing mm -hmm. i don't know if there's like true stories about it but like oh you know you know um what is it you remember that like ad campaign right in like 2012 this man oh yeah this man has this man <laughs> what, what he looks ever, like something uh, ever ever dream of this man i've never dreamed of that man but he looks weird like okay so, so, so i i was like i watched a video today and i'll give a i'll give i'll give a free shout out um, it's called the uh, Strange Flyers Around Portland, Oregon, uh, by Nexpo, and it's um, it's not related to, it's not talking about that. He brings it up for a little bit, but um, oh yeah, yeah oh yeah, yeah, I remember, yeah. He like Sasha was telling me that she she finds that picture of that guy really creepy, and like I don't, I don't, I don't find it creepy, right? And it's like, I to me, it, it's like I think it might be an uncanny valley sort of thing, right? Because I don't, it, to me, it's like it just looks like a dude. Like, it doesn't look like some, like, dream figure that would appear in my dreams or whatever, like... It doesn't look uh, like a dude I would see in real life, but a dude I'd see in, like, in a cartoon. Yeah, right? Like, it doesn't like, look real. Obviously, it's real. a drawing, so obviously it's gonna look like it's from a cartoon. Okay, but, like, oh, you know, you know, I, I got it. It doesn't look like a police sketch, right? Like, it, like it, it's like, it's like two degrees of separation away from that. Like, it looks a little too animated to, like, look like a sketch of somebody. It's very like the proportions are super off about him. Yeah. Like it's I'm like, looking at a picture, his mouth is super huge. His eyebrows are really bushy. And his, and his, his hair eyes is are like his eyes are like side. oddly shaped. And like too There's big for his head. 
Yeah, they're like, they're weird. <laughs> I see one, it's just <laughs> a recreation what? of like that picture, but it's just KK Slider. And it fits, and it looks <laughs> 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 yes, the I thing have. is, like, a lot of people don't like really remember their dreams. So mm -mm. if like this, so like if this like person goes out and like you see this flyer and like thinking to yourself, yeah, those look kind of familiar. It's like it's a that face is like constructed to be like this semi-familiar face. So you look at it's it like, and it's like like you're not thinking like oh I, I've I've seen this person in real life. It's more like. He's, he's a little familiar? He might you know be what, from you a know dream. Deep, you know deepfake videos? Like the fucking thing you just did for, for yeah. me. But like, you know how like when some people use deepfake? Like... What's this? That's <laughs> a, weird, right? It's very creepy photo. This is like in a weird context too. It looks like... That photo is legitimately actually kind of creepy. This photo is... Like, why are people making creepy versions of this man? Can we stop sending this? I'm yeah, gonna get fucking I'm, nightmares. <laughs> I'm deleting these. Uh, Disgusting. <laughs> we can keep the Ryoko though. Okay, okay. It says, as a way to fix this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> it's just, I think... It's just kind of like an ad campaign, I guess. I, you I, know? I wonder that sometimes though, like... um, Because it's... It, doesn't it link to a website? Yeah, thisman.org. I don't know if it's still active. It probably the website is. probably had like ads or something. Yeah, or sh and a lot whatever. of people are just thinking to themselves like, not even if they don't remember for like, they, even they don't think they've seen it in the dreams. They think it's like this weird thing. Like, why would this man be asking that? Have people t been talking about this man? It's you know, it's um, it's kind of like Gary. just like <laughs> it's kind of like Gary, a quote unquote like early meme, I guess. Or it's just this shared thing that everyone talks about, but like it's probably just some guy just fucking doing a shit post. Like, you know, it's <laughs> real life shit post. I I I, wa I wonder sometimes though. It's like, um, you ever like? So we talked about this. Uh, you like uh, about the back rooms. Uh, and uh, you've seen that video, right? But I forget who it is. Um, and it's uh. It's, uh, the video is, uh, it's by the same creator, but I, his name is Blank Yummy, I'm sorry. Uh, but it's, uh, that one picture where it's, like, they use that AI program to, like, amalgamate a photo, and it's, like, uh, can you name anything in this picture is the name of the video, I think. Yeah. And that's where I learned about that album, uh, uh, by the caretaker. Uh. It's just, that picture just has nothing in it. Like, it's, like... <laughs> It's, it's like semi-familiar, makes you think you see something that you know of. And that's but what's it's creepy, not. right? Because it's like... Okay, imagine that, but now imagine this in a sense of... Because that's what makes, like, Backroom's pictures so creepy, right? It's like... They're taken out of the context that they're supposed to be in, like... A, a Chuck E. Cheese at night... Is not supposed to be... Like... Shown, right? It's not supposed right? to be... I mean, it's not supposed to be shown. And, like... Think about it, it's not really supposed to be creepy. Like... Like, yeah, it's not supposed to be, like, this creepy thing, it's just... It's just like a food McDonald's clothes, like, you're not... The only reason it's so scary is because of the animatronics. Or, like, maybe you're just so used to, like, a Chuck E. Cheese being, like, this place filled with... Kids running around and screaming. And then seeing it being this empty, like, no sound thing with... Basically, nothing. No living thing. Have you it's ever been in weird. a school at night? Um... And I'm not talking about, like, staying... I'm not talking about, like, staying to, like... For, like, a, an experience that I can relate to. Uh, I'm not talking about, like, it's a concert night or whatever, so we were there we're there till, like, 10.30 at night. I'm talking about, like... And you can like, still kind of hear, like, people, like, on yeah, the other like, side you can of hear, school. You hear people running around. No, you I've never hear, been at a school alone. <clears throat> I'm talking about... So, I... I to school with my dad yeah. at night alone so it's just us two and that was legitimately like one of the most terrifying things i've ever done it's just because it's like it's it's, it's also it's the, not like, meant it's to be dark. taken in that context like mm -hmm. even when i clean schools at in the day and nobody's there it's just that like there's like 
it's not it's not that it's creepy right is that it, there's something unnerving about it like there's that feeling in the back of your head that something's not right it's because you're so used to people being everywhere at a school right but then to finally be alone it kind of just in the back of your head it's kind of creating this like maybe someone's watch something's watching you right yeah you're so used to there being people that like your, your brain's like there's got to be someone do you get paranoid um like it's not like sometimes even, like, when i'm walking at night <laughs> fuck why do i keep seeing scary things on the time on my timeline what the fuck is this do i have to look <laughs> 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 Some someone just replied, "I'm too high for this shit." <laughs> God, what is that? Taking that, away, taking that away from you. I uh, like uh, how this is the loose and harlock Discord, and I'm not at. <laughs> Will this be the? This is not the Discord we released. This to the is people. not. We can't use this Discord. <laughs> like we have to make an official one. Like this one. Like we talk about like much. the captured children we have. We can't really release that to the public. Yeah, of course. Let's fucking come on here. Yeah, like um, there, there is. Do you do you get scared by Uncanny Valley stuff? I, I forget what I was asking you before, but do you for, do you get scared by Uncanny Valley stuff? Um, like the back rooms. Not necessarily the back rooms, but like something like. It's like um a lot of people experience this with like a CGI. W yeah, with certain CGI that like it looks. It's so close to looking like a human, but there's just like, it's one degree too far away from looking like animation and it just looks really creepy because they don't move like a human moves. But, um, it, it depends on what kind of environment I'm in. Mm -hmm. If I'm alone, yeah, it's kind of creepy. Like if it's oh, just I, doll I, I that's asking, supposed to look like a this. human. I, was, I remember now. Um, I was asking you if you got paranoid. Um, like, I, I've experienced this since I was a little kid. Um, so, I've, I've, I've told you before, like, I don't... I like being alone. Mm -hmm. But, like, the one thing I can't stand is that, like, every time I am alone, like, it's always... It's always it feels like, like the something's most, watching you. Yeah, it's, but it's always at the most random of times. It's never when I'm just, like, I'm making fucking food and I'm just... In the kitchen or whatever. But it's always, like... like, in the middle, middle of, like... Eating like a bowl of cereal made at like night, like in like the living like the living room or something. You just like kind of just eating it, and then you just feel a chill behind, like crawl up your back, and you're like, "What the fuck?" You know, it's like you know nothing is there, but there's, there's just absolutely a, like, no way nothing is there. It, there's like All literally the no possible closed, way. The so, there's no possible way something to be there. No but it's sound like has been made. But your brain is like, it's like um. It means just like fucking is like, what if something was there though? I think it's I think it's like an I think it's an inherent issue humans have with like total calmness, right? Because like if you're ever in a place that's too quiet, you get weirded out. It's like this shouldn't be this way. That's why a lot of movies use like quietness to like exhibit like not a horror aspect, but like a scare and like a to, yeah, fear to, to unease you like when like something ha big happens in an anime where like maybe a character's about to get fucking murked or something right out of nowhere mm -hmm. it's like yeah. close up and it's like usually they'll play like a loud sound before like uh, uh a jet like engine go like going super loud and then just stops and that's supposed to like unnerve you like i was so used to the sound like why is it so quiet what's happening you know it's 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 kind of like this is a this is an issue uh, I've like uh, experienced confused, with like not, certain not confused, anime, it right? Tricks your it's, brain um, into being into this moment. Of I don't know panic. if you get the same feeling, but like, right? Don't you hate it when something that, like, doesn't cliche, have music? Where they just cut the noise. Now, with just being in a calm room, you you I mean you're used like you're not you're not used to it all your yeah, life. Yeah, all your life you're used to being outside and hearing and noises, hear even like at God night. Like right now, I'm hearing like the fucking crickets outside, right? Are you can't hear me? Yeah, what just- what happened? Internet cut out. What was the last thing you heard? Of course the internet would cut out whenever I'm fucking on a roll. Um, what was the last thing you heard? I don't remember. I, I was Were asking you something. Were you talking? And then yes. they cut off? Oh my god. I was asking you something. I, you like... You stopped talking and I just went on a tangent about why I thought that happened. What was the last was, thing you heard? 
I don't remember. I was like in the middle of talking. Well, did, did you hear me talk about like the cliche in movies? Yes. Okay. Um, I was asking you, uh, what was it? Uh, I don't even remember. I have like, maybe, I have like, maybe, gold, I have like goldfish brain. I'll say what I was saying. Maybe it'll jog up your memory. Mm -hmm. Um, so the cliche in movies is, uh, when they, they'll, they'll usually, uh, they'll like cut the noise. And it'll, oh, it's I, like, I, I remember now. I remember now. Okay. All right. Um, you want Fuck. me to finish or? <laughs> oh no, I heard I heard all that part. I like it cut out like right. I know, after but you I said a that. lot of things after. Did you? Not a lot, but I I I was going on and on, and then I finally like you weren't like responding. I was like, huh? What's going on? Did you finish at the jet engine thing? No. Oh okay. So, I think that kind of like that thing is like kind of to like trick your brain, right? Trick mm. your brain into you're so used to this noise. Uh, when your brain doesn't stop hearing the noise, it's like it goes into like a mode of panic on its own, right? Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's just it's just a, like a trick, right? But what you're saying is when you're all alone and it's quiet, right? It's not like your loud noise just was going off and then you just nothing, right? Mm -hmm. It's just you kind of just by yourself. And I think what happens is maybe it's you know how. When you take a shit and you smell it, after a while, you stop smelling it because your nose gets used to it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So usually, at night, you hear crickets, you hear the outside world. But like, let's say you go to like maybe 4 a.m., right? 3 a.m., 5. I've, I've maintained that like Where? the scariest time at night is to me is like around like 2.30 in the morning or like 3 in the morning. Because everything is just a little too quiet. Because it's still a little too early for like people who are early birds to get up to go to work, and it's like too late for like people to still be out in the streets or whatever. So it's like it's like the right perfect equilibrium of like, fuck, just emptiness. I mean, there's still gonna be people, but it's still like it's still like an emptiness that you just you never felt. I mean, you don't usually feel. You're so used to most of your time. Uh, conscious is during the day in which I mean, I mean night too but during the night uh, from like you know to like midnight and such and during the day there's noise happening there's people going about their lives there's animals chirping birds chirping whatever <laughs> not animals chirping but animals making noises you get so used to that that once you finally like you're up at 4am once you finally have that time just complete Please? Yeah. Okay, I was just making sure you're still here. Once no, you have dude. that time of just complete silence, and maybe your brain kind of just turns off the crickets outside, which would probably be like the only thing you hear. It's like, I like I have it's this so issue. quiet that your brain, like, it's it could be quiet and you not notice, but once your brain notices quiet, you get the chill. It's like, and um, then you start looking around, and then your it's brain's. Like, it's like it's like a when you when uh, you you finally realize you can see your nose. I probably fucked you over right now, but um, I mean I can see my nose a lot. You know that's what happens when you have a big nose. Uh, it's like it's like it, I can, it's, it's sort of, kind of there. It's like I see. It's it's not that I can see through. It's just because how the eyes perceive it. You know, it's from different angles that it's kind of like fucking it's with it's each your, other. It's your brain. It's your brain turning off that like. Is your brain turning off that like I can see this to like let you be able to focus your eyes on other things? Yeah, like it's like it's supposed to do that. If if your brain didn't do that, we'd be crashing like into everything. We would not there be able to see properly. Like that, but what I was what I was gonna ask you was, um, this is an issue I had with um, uh, what is that name? I think it's Hoshitaru. Um, it was like that one anime that everybody was like, oh, it's so scary, and then I watched it and I was like. It's fucking like a two out of ten on Metacritic. Um, <laughs> Why is he I saying Metacritic? Because have you never seen you have you seen that video? It's John Trunt's Takeshi's Challenge video. That's what I'm referencing. Oh okay. Um. <laughs> he's like he like he finishes the game. He's like that's it that's it and he's like bad game bad game two out of ten Metacritic go buy. <laughs> uh. Metacritic one of the is not the best for games. <laughs> Just just watch a YouTuber review it. 
I, I trust YouTubers more than I trust IG and reviewers. Oh, for sure. <laughs> it's like, like, it's still gotta be a YouTuber uh, I trust, and it's still gotta be a YouTuber that, like, sounds like opinions. he's right. Yeah. Like, if he, has, if he has a British accent, I trust his opinions fully. <laughs> 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 Why do British I mean, people he, get to have that ability? I mean, he's just, he's British. I is mean, it because we don't like? Is it because we're not used to British like accents that we're like, oh, it sounds so proper. But then there's the British like fucking goons. Like the British goons are like, oh, bro, I'm gonna fuck your fucking cock, bro. It's like I can't take them seriously. I'm gonna beat the fucking brick off of you. I think it's because as kids, every movie that has like a British guy, they're they're always proper. Yeah. Like, I don't, like, I'm thinking about it, like, probably the first time I saw a British person that wasn't this proper, like, fucking, like, sipping tea w with his pinky out was probably, like, Kingsman or something. Or James Bond. But James Bond is still, like... He's proper, though. Yeah, that's true. He's, like, gritty, but, like... It's still, I like, it's, it's proper yeah, gritty. It depends on the James Bond you're watching, to be honest. Yeah. Daniel Craig is pretty fucking... Oof. Uh... It's like a the, the issue. One of the issues I had with the anime, besides like having like a weird OST, there was a lot of the scenes that me that didn't have music, and that's always strange to me. Like when somebody makes like somebody have makes the, a show, did it have like the Japanese crickets? No, no, no. It just, <laughs> that Ava the, the, has the, the cicadas. Yeah, I, I, no, 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 I wish we had have, those. It just didn't have no sound music. effects. It had sound no, like, effects, or it just didn't have background music. All right. It was like such a strange choice because like there's like it's like it has literally everything you would expect in like a normal anime, right? But it just didn't have background music a lot of the time, and it was like really off. It's like really like upsetting almost. I guess that's the feeling they were trying to convey. I'm, I'm, I'm guess I'm maybe guessing. like I I mentioned this. I I have it's not a fear, but it's like a, an issue with me. So like there's like. A certain and it's like why I don't like things being quiet. So like that's why I'll always like listen to music or like be watching a video that's or whatever. People just like pay like I've heard I've seen people say online that they they pure they pay for cable purely just to, just for background noise when they're like that's perf cleaning and they're valid. doing stuff. Like that's perfectly valid. Like maybe <laughs> maybe just get some speakers and put your put your phone on it instead of wasting money on cable. But uh, I understand it. I guess um, I can understand it. For, for me, there's like, it's like a certain, it's like when, when, you know, when I was saying when like things get way too quiet, mm -hmm. there's a certain frequency. I think I brought this up on Resident Evil. There's like a certain frequency that hits that like when it like gets too quiet, like my ears can actually like finally pick it up. Like, and when I hear it, it like, it hurts. Like, it, like I literally like have to like start like shaking my ears. It's like a dog whistle type beat. Yeah. So like, um, I sometimes, I, uh, I sometimes get that even when I'm hearing noise. I, that, that happens to me too, and I hate it. It's like it's like my brain is like my brain is like tuning it out all the time, and then like for whatever reason, it'll my like, brain just I'll be shuts like, off. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it like it, it just forgets that I'm supposed to be ignoring it, and then like I, I'll hear it, and then that's why, like I've had like some people like ask me like why do you why do I see you like occasionally like shake your ears, and I'd be like oh it's because like there's like a frequency that like fucks fucks with me whenever like I hear it. And they'll be like, oh, that's weird. And be like, yeah, that's weird. Can I ask you a question about your ears? Yes. Have you ever had the sensation of your ears burning? Can you describe what it would feel like? Like, I might, ha I might have. It happened to me a couple times when I would eat like a hot Cheeto and it went down like my throat raw or something. And I don't know why I get this weird like feeling in my ear. It's not like it's actually burning or anything, mm -hmm. but it's just, just this super weird feeling of just like my ears just fucking ow oh, i don't does it feel like when you does it feel like when your ears get hot when you're embarrassed i've never had that i've never had like uh i'm i'm i've never had my ears burn when i'm um like no no not i'm not now that they burn but like um you know how like you can feel your face become red like when you get embarrassed. Oh yeah, like I like I blush like, it, does a it, lot of does times. Does it feel does it feel the same thing? Or is no, it like, completely no. different? Blushing, I, I I'm fine with it. Like the ear burning is like 
It has to be a thing. I swear to God, people make me sound stupid for it. I like you know that, you know that Caleb City fine. Or like, I got the pizza here. Uh -huh. Oh, he falls down the stairs like, oh my ears burn. Like he 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 has all of he has that sensation. And in cartoons, when you eat something spicy, you have smoke coming like the smoke coming out of the ears. It's oh, like I don't know how to explain weird. it. I don't think I've ever felt that. I don't know how to ex explain it. Um, do you get okay? Do you like it's worse you, than like eating something super spicy? Do you ever get those feelings of like if you've had like your earbuds in for too long, like it starts to like hurt? Because that happens to me a lot, and I don't know if it's just because like it I depends on the earbuds. Yeah, like the Apple earbuds, uh, they they're normal to me. They like, can t for me, they, they feel so good in my ear. The earbuds that that have like the little like rubber things on the thing, I can't use those. I can use those fine. I I actually like they like have those to better. be like the perfect fit. Oh, Which, that's true. That's true. If they're not the perfect fit, then they just feel weird in my ear. Like I don't know. Like I just I guess I just gotta try all the rubbers that they give into the in the package. I always do that. But sometimes got, they like, don't give you any, and it's just like I, I hate got, like, putting this into my ear. I get like misshapen ears, so like I like sometimes I'll have to like put like a size bigger on one and a size smaller on one. What's worse is that I can lay I can lay on my head on the pillow with Apple ear uh earbuds, but whenever I try like I think I guess it's just that specific one, the one with the rubber, it pushes it in. Even oh yeah, that, that feeling's in. weird, right? It's like sticking a Q tip in there, but it's like sticking a Q tip in your ear, but it like it's it's bigger, so like it, it like. It's worse it feels for me. Like it's expanding more. Yeah. I um. You know what's the worst fucking feeling when like you your hand, uh, fully like uh, unfolded. <laughs> fuck, fuck. <laughs> Over your ears and then like you take it off your ears uh fast. I haven't. I've n I've never done this. It, it happened to me accidentally a couple times. Mm -hmm. Hands over the ears and then you take it off and there's like a pop. Like I think it's like the suction. Oh yeah, it's 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 like air pressure. Yeah, and that that I hate I hate that that like that that hurts me. Uh, you've done the thing with your hands, right? Where it's like, um, you hold them for like in a really like static and like a, a place for like a really long time. Oh yeah, like that happens like to my leg a lot. Like you're trying to like force like your hands to like you like you're pushing something, but like there's nothing there, and then finally like you move your hands and it just all feels like really weird and like out of place. Um, that happens to me when I'm sitting on the toilet for a while because, you know, I finally get some peace and like my legs, like it gets super staticky and then when I try to stand on it, no, it no, doesn't I'm not feel like I'm about, not, um, what is that? Uh, no, I'm not talking about like, uh, when you your like limbs falling going asleep. asleep. Yeah, I'm not talking about that. Uh, I don't know what that It's been a while since I've had the staticky hands, I guess. Um. Since we're just on like a creepy thing and we're talking about limbs, uh, okay. have you, have you, do you, okay, do you sleep with anything covering your legs, uh, covering your feet rather, when you sleep? Um, like my, my feet, feet or like legs your excluded? Feet, your feet. Like, I'm not talking about like wearing socks, I'm talking about like just something covering it. Um, I move around so much that it doesn't matter, but when it gets, when it gets hot, I usually like don't have a blanket, so, so my feet are not covered do you, most of the do time. You, do you, have you you've experienced that? What I'm talking about, right? Where, where it's like when you're trying to fall asleep, it feels like something pulls on your feet. No, I've never had that. You've never had that? I've had the feeling like if I'm like on a bed and my feet are hanging down, and like the bottom of the bed is completely open, mm -hmm. I have that like chill down my spine, like. Maybe something's like about to grab it. Like I think everyone's had that feeling, you know. There's so mm -hmm. many memes just about like, oh, this is how you're supposed to sleep so the monsters don't get you. Yeah, <laughs> but you've never had the sensation of it being feel like it's being. I've pulled. never had it, the feeling of it being pulled. Oh, dude, it's the fucking worst. I wouldn't even I know what that so much. feels I like. I hate it so much. Like, um, the worst thing too is that like when I was I was told from like uh, my family when I was a little kid when I would like sleep over at like my nephew's house or whatever, mm -hmm. it'd be like. They'd be like, oh, 
it's the devil trying to grab you, so make sure you keep your feet under the cover. And I was like, eh, what the fuck is this fear mongering going on? <laughs> oh, bro. Like, Hispanic culture is all just that. It's all about, like, like the devil. Don't do this. The devil's doing this to you. It's because oh, yeah. he did something bad. I remember, like, my parents would tell me, like, if I, if I'm, like, whenever I'm hiccuping, it's because, like, I did something bad. Like, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? You know what's one of my favorite? Sure, like, I uh, killed those kids in Af Afghanistan, but why am I hiccuping because of it? You know what's one of my favorite uh, thingies? It's uh, the and I really like it. So like, I think I might like joke it. I, I might use it with my kids. Is um, whenever you sneeze, somebody's talking about you. That like <laughs> Japanese, that Japanese thing. Yeah. I think it's really cute. I think it's funny. <laughs> I mean, I wish, but like, what the fuck would they be talking about? No, bro, like I sneeze a lot. What if I'm sneezing like five times in a row? I hate sneezing. You, I can't do that. Oh, I love I sneezing. I hate I can't not sneeze sneezing. once. I can't sneeze like once. I'm like not built for that. Like my body's built different. Like I can only sneeze. I can only sneeze twice or seventeen times. Like there's no in between. I fucking hate it. I hate sneezing so much. It's like See, one of my the worst sneezes are for super me. loud, and I go out with a bang, you know. I like the worst have, like, feeling really, is definitely I have when really you... compact. I have really compact sneezes though, so like they hurt when I sneeze. Damn. It. What I'm this. Uh, what I'm. The I've worst. I've been staring at this picture of, <laughs> of bootleg Kurapika, Kilo, and Hisoka. <laughs> um, for me, the worst feeling is definitely like I guess you would describe it as blue nose. Just blue balls for your nose. Oh, when, when you're, you're about, about to sneeze and then like you you're just so don't. close, you're like 99%, and then your brain just like, alright, we're done. It's like, what the, the, the fuck is your problem? Uh, God, I, I don't want this to be false advertising, so I'm gonna just uh, the next one. I want to talk about dreams, though. Hold on, <laughs> I'm not done with you. I'm not done with these. I, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna sort of go through them quickly. Uh. Noblesse, which is a, like probably the most popular uh, manhwa webtoon that has ever come out. Mm -hmm. uh, it's getting an anime adaptation. Uh, uh, this one, it's called uh, Tomo-chan is a girl. Um, basically, it is uh, a girl is like the biggest tomboy ever, but like uh, basically she has a crush on the dude and the dude is uh, oblivious, as always. Um, this one is a horror manga, but I really am interested in it because it just sounds so fucked up. It's called um, uh, the Love and Creed of Sai Maki. I don't know if you've heard of it. Sai Maki. Mhm. Mm it's really fucked. I'm not well versed uh, in the fucked up anime as you are. Uh, synopsis: In the month since she transferred to a new school, Misao hasn't made any friends. Instead, she's been teased and bullied by some of the more aggressive girls in class. This all changes the day Sai returns to school. Uh, Sai is good at everything, and everyone at school adores her, but Sai only wants to be friends with Misa Misao. All the bullying stops immediately, and Misao is thrilled to be best friends with the most popular girl in school. Sadly, things are too good to be true. Sai starts to become more and more domineering, preventing Misao from making other friends and assisting in controlling how she spends all her time. As Sai's friendship becomes more and more nightmarish, someone reaches out to Misao to try to help her break free. But is it all too late? That's the summation of it, anyways. Uh, where do you find these? Like, where uh, where do you look? Like, usually, like I Reddit. Just, I just I just vibe. <laughs> it just comes <laughs> to your head. God, God, just like putting into your head. Like, read this one, bro. This this one slaps. Uh, this one, this one I mentioned during Last of Us, uh, Yakada Shoujo. Um, mm -hmm. Which you know, sad subject matter, but I want to read it. Uh, this one is. Uh, Yancha Gal no Anjo-san, which I don't know what the title would fucking be in English, but it's this <laughs> literally, Please. literally, it's Seto is a serious kid who leads a quiet high school life until he starts getting teased by the resident gal Anjo. Why? And finally, uh, this last horror manga, which is called Zombie Bat, which is literally just about a girl with a bat and kills zombie. And zombie. Is that all of it? Yep, that's all on my to read manga list. Okay, but for me, at some point. planning, I guess. Um, the plans for me to read manga is <laughs> I do want to get into the Hunter x Hunter manga. 
I just need to- I thought you read it. No, I'm, I'm not- I'm not caught up on that. I tried to read it. It wasn't that it got, like, boring or anything, it's just that I was reading it and then class ended and I'm like, I had to fucking walk and I can't read while walking. I never got into it. I never got back into it. You can't read while walking? <laughs> I'm just built different, I float. Rip to, rip to you, but I'm built different. <laughs> Another one is, uh, Kingdom, Vagabond, Finland Saga, just like the normal ones. Mm -hmm. I watched a YouTube video from this YouTuber, uh, Scam Bully Reviews. Um, he had a couple ones in there that I, I was interested in when he gave the synopsis. Isn't that the one that everybody hates? What? <laughs> that YouTuber. Why would, why would people hate him? I don't fucking know. He only has people, like 305k. People who like any tu like people who like simp over any tubers are so fucking weird. Like, not simp, but like, like the, a the anime YouTube community is like so weird with like any tubers. They create like drama out of nothing. Like they, it's like the only community I know that has tier lists of the YouTubers. This guy made a video, uh, video called "Everyone Needs to Watch Beastar," so I trust this man. I. Um, he had one called uh, "Record of Ragnarok," which is let me get the synopsis. It's basically like a tournament arc, but with a bunch of gods. Tournament arc. Like, and it's like people. It's like uh, people from real life. Real like mythology mm -hmm. and stuff. Let me let me see characters. Uh, like you got Adam. I think who he's the main character. Like Adam and Eve, that dude. Jack the Ripper, Poseidon, the Buddha. You want to know what the Buddha looks like? They have like different designs. It's not like <laughs> fuck. That's a bad picture. Hercules. Who's a girl? Um, let me see. It looks like a girl. It's a male. Damn. Uh, that's Buddha. Poseidon. It's just one big tournament arc, basically, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, looks cool. He said he said it gets really interesting later on, and it's like, it's worth it. It's like, it's not just like any old, like, battle manga, you know? Um... Another one is called My Home Hero, mm -hmm. which is which is about um, an ordinary salaryman. Uh, I'm reading the synopsis. Discovers his daughter Rika has been physically abused by her boyfriend, Maitori. Maitori, uh, trying to learn more about him, Tetsuo uncovers Maitori's scheme to extort money from Rika's wealthy grandparents and finds out that he's a member of the crime syndicate of a crime syndicate. With the history of murdering his former girlfriends. Yakuza. Filled with rage and fear at the thought of Raika being in danger, Tetsuo ends up killing Nobuto, and with the help of his wife, he successfully disposes of the body, and now they ha he has to try to, like, it's kind of like a. Uh, think, like, not thinking, but like, it's a mental manga, like, trying to, like, come up with a plan. Mm -hmm. But he's not, like, it's, like, supposed to be, like, kind of like a dead note thing. Mm. He's trying to, like, hide the fact that, you know, he killed a guy from yeah. the other mafia members and uh but he's like just an ordinary man he's not supposed he's not this like super like uh, 500 iq guy so i wanted to read that he made it sound interesting i'd be the 500 iq mc <laughs> i'm just built different <laughs> i'm just built different um other manga that's i like mean my best that's like that's like my best quality as a human <laughs> i'm like I'm able Built to think. different? Yes, I'm able to think quickly on my feet. And I'm also able to stay really calm under pressure. Uh, I mean... Maybe I'll ask, uh, 20th Century Boys I want to read. Um... That's really Slam good, Dunk. It? Slam Dunks. Yeah, it's... Uh, it has a high score, I mean... It's highly praised. Who is uh, the author of that? 20th Century Boys. Let me see... Didn't... Didn't the author of Naoki Century... Ura, Urasawa? Didn't he write? He did monster. Japan Sings? Uh, who? Am I mistaking that? Who? Didn't the author of 20th Century Boys write Japan Sings? He wrote Monster. Monster sick. I don't think he. I sp I speed ran Monster. <laughs> How the fuck you do that? I, I'm just. No, it's a different author. Wait, what I'm, the fuck? I'm, I'm, this I'm is not Japan different. Sings 2020. I'm built different. <laughs> I went on the wrong wiki. 
Miss E Rider. Who the fuck? No, we'll give me. Man. Oh, oh wait, is it? Am, am I thinking that wrong? Is it just that they have like a similar story, like a similar setup for the story or something like that? It's not, that's I guess it's or... a similar setup. Let me see. Uh, Novel. <laughs> Sakyoi. Sakyoi ga Komatsu. <laughs> Okasan! <laughs> Why did they kill him like that? <laughs> so funny. Literally no re reason for that. They did him dirty. <laughs> He's annoying. Oh, where the fuck? I'm, I, I lost. I lost the tab. There's so many tabs open that I lost it. <laughs> Where is it? Did what I close was, it? What was there the um? He did. He did a couple episodes of Dragon Ball Super. <laughs> That's it. What is? What is the uh? Not the. Not the creepiest because we think I think we talked about that. But what was the weirdest dream you ever had? Weirdest dream. Hmm. I mean, did the dream talk I talked about Resident Evil was pretty fucking weird. Yeah. Um, I had another dream that was super weird. If you want me to talk about it, sure. Um, it was just this dream where it started off with it felt it felt real, like it felt super real to me. Those are the worst dreams to me. Like, the worst, the worst dreams to me are the ones that that start out feeling like you're awake. And then, like, there's, like, two things that happen, and then, like, I don't know if you've ever had this, but this has definitely happened to me. It's, like, two things happen, and you're, like, that's not right. And then, like, do you, okay, and then this, ha then this happens, which I'm gonna ask you. Have you ever been conscious during a dream? Like, not I've never had a lucid dream. Like, not sleep paralysis, but I'm talking about, like. Like a lucid dream. Yeah, like, you're, f you're aware that you're in a dream. Sadly, I don't think I've ever had that. Those are the worst for me. I fucking hate those. Is it like you just fuck yourself over and just start thinking about scary things? It's like it's I've not heard that, that start... happens to a lot of people. Like they try so hard to get a lucid dream, when they finally do it, they like they accidentally like fuck over their dream. Oh no! For me, it's not. For me, it's a like. It does become scary, right? But like for me, it's like. Um, remember how I was talking about Uncanny Valley? Like. Yeah. Everything in the dream suddenly now is like two degrees away from like what I know. Like every person I talk to, every like thing I do, like every routine, every like thing I would normally do, like everything is like slightly different. Not different enough that like I could like say I'm living a different life, but different enough for me to know that like this isn't right. And I hate that feeling. It's like the worst feeling ever. Like, it's just Uncanny Valley, like, it's just super slightly, it's like slightly off. Yeah, that, yeah like, everything is it just, just, it's just, it bothers me. You, have you seen, um, that one episode, uh, this is the best way I can compare that. Have you, have you seen that one episode of Batman the Animated Series, Perchance to Dream? Um, let me see. It's the one where Batman gets captured I'm really by bad with names. It's the one where Batman gets captured by the Mad Hatter, right? And, mm -hmm. um, basically, the next day that Bruce wakes up, he's no longer Batman. There is a Batman. But, like, everything in Bruce's life is suddenly great. Like, he's living his life as just a businessman. He's, like, gonna get married to Selena Kyle. Like, everything is good. And then, like, one day, like, Bruce, like, overhears something. And then, like, everything starts getting fucked over. Like, he opens a book and all the words in it are just completely wrong. Like, all of them are, like, mumbled, jumbled mess, and he, like, starts realizing that, like, everything is, like, false. Like, that's how it feels to me when I have those kind of dreams. Mm. Similar episode in Justice League where Superman lives out a life on Krypton, with, and he has, like, a son. And it's, like, a super sad scene where, like, he, he has the attachment to the son as if he's, like, had him his entire life. But he knows that the world is false, so he has to say goodbye. And, like, you know, he's, like, crying and all. Yeah. I think it was, like, ah, uh, might have been Brainiac that, like, put something on his head. Mm -hmm. And then Batman saves him. Like, imagine that. Imagine, like, being put in a machine and having these memories, having this event, like, in your head as if it was your entire life. And then, like, 
let's say it wasn't like slightly off let's say it wasn't slightly off it was perfect it was a life you wanted your entire life you're living you're living life as happy as you possibly can and then you find out it's all it's all fake that's like the thing that makes it like scary to dream about though right isn't it because like no shit we don't have a lot of time um we don't <laughs> uh you know it's um like because uh, i didn't I, I, for, I forgot to mention that uh, bruce's parents are alive in uh that episode. i remember this episode i can't remember too much of it i probably watched it as a kid but like it's like those are the things that like make dreams scary to me is, is like um I've, had, I've, I've like had this before where it's like i'll i'll be i'll dream where i'm like dating like a certain person right and it's like that person isn't alive anymore like i i i know they aren't and it's like it's weird that like i it's weird when like your dream like imagines like just an example not to get too much in my personal life like this is a person i knew from like elementary right so mm -hmm. um but you're like, imagining I'll, them as older I, yeah like I'll see them as a high schooler and it's like that terrifies me like I hate Never. that so much like it, like it creeps me out because I'm like this isn't this is all a lie this isn't real I've never had that but I've had dreams where there's this person that's very prominent in the dream that you know that I'm friends with or like have a relationship with and it's this person who in the dream i act like i know them but in like when i wake up and think about my dream it's someone that i've never seen my entire life it's like sort it of is, the sensation that people had with our homeboy that we sent the pictures <laughs> of right uh, it's like people, yeah like the goofy guy that people will be like oh i know this person but it's like you don't know that person you just vaguely remember something like that that's creepy super weird it's it, dreams are this super weird thing that like your brain is just uh, maybe like uh, i don't is uh, your brain is able to create these like photorealistic it's kind of it's like it's like memories in a way right mm -hmm. but in your dreams it's so real it's so like why is our brain allowed to like allowed to do that while we're subcon like unconscious but we're not allowed to do something like that while we're conscious like able to control our brains like that it's wild like we're able to have like people have had like like in a coma people have had dreams where they live out like an entire life all oh, that is and then oh, they wake oh, up and it's oh. all gone that is terrifying to think about. Like, I, I'm pretty, like, I, it was a Reddit story, so it's probably fake, but, like, just imagine, like, you're in a coma. Maybe you don't even know. You live out your life at, like, like, maybe you were in a car crash. Maybe just imagine with, like, not in a car crash. Mm -hmm. And you have this whole family. You meet this girl. And then only to realize you wake up in a hospital bed, like, seven years later after, like, the crash. To, like, a whole different world. To, like something creepy. where the people like like maybe you even have a kid or something and that per that kid's just not a thing never born never existed there's no kid out there that looks like that it would be it would like be so much more scarier to me if like i like say that situation right but like the person has a kid and then like they like wake up in their conscious life again right they like let's say they wake up from a coma and then like their kids completely different. Their kids like completely different. They're older. They're they've lived their life without you. Oh like, no, but I'm saying like imagine they had like a different kid in like their dream, right? Oh. Uh, and then like they like see their actual kid in real life and they're like uh uh. -huh. They're like not even remotely similar. There's kind of something like that in like the stupid CW like <laughs> Green Arrow and Flash show where uh, yeah. The Flash changes time in a character in the Green Arrow show who had a son and then after flash changed time on his Wait, show who is who is this guy the guy you sent under the kk slider one i, I don't know he's just this have you seen this man in a dream guy 
Have you- doesn't he kind of look like Michael Jackson? <laughs> no? Look, okay. He has a beard. The eyes, and the I mean, mouth, sure. and the lips. Maybe. But like, in the in the show, the Flash, in his, in his own series, changes time- the timeline. And in era in uh he he fixes it right he's mm -hmm. in like the f they have their own like a uh, flashpoint where it's yeah. like a different world and then it just ends in one day even though they hyped it up for that season <laughs> but like it, that per like the his name's diggle he's an arrow he's like a side character he had a son and then after Fla flash came back from fucking up the timeline it was a daughter and then for some fucked up reason he tells him about it he tells Diggle about like how he had a son that is doesn't exist anymore. And like think about how fucked that would be. Like just imagining like a you having a different like child. They don't really go deep into it. Like he gets mad for a little. But then, you know, he doesn't get mad. Yeah. You know, like, fuck those shows, but... <laughs> I was gonna talk about my dream, but it's getting kind of late. We can finish and it up with that. Quickly talk about it. So, it starts off... And I'm like, this is like, kind of like... I'm so into this dream that I'm... Like, it's it's like, it's real life. Ba like, I get off Discord or something. And mm. I go do some chores. One of the chores, I have to go to CVS to pick up something. And I... I've never, like, this, this, the setting wasn't something I've ever been to, but it was kind of like a combination of, like, the day, like, before that, I was, um, I was doing deliveries. Uh -huh. And so, it's just, the US, it's like US Bank, is that what it's called? Mm. It's that place, do you know, do you know, uh, next to where you work, uh, or Ross? Mm -hmm. I imagine a US Bank there, right? Oh. I mean, there, I mean, isn't isn't there a U.S. bank there? Is it's that a what chase. That? Okay, it's a chase. But I saw it as U.S. bank, and I was in that same um, like area, right? Mm -hmm. But you know where like uh, the Chinese food places across the street from Ross? Oh yeah. I imagine a CVS there. It's like and it's I, like your it's like your brain like subconsciously building like, like various parts you know of your life in like because I the, one they, concise uh, area. Earlier, I saw a U.S. bank. Mm -hmm. When I was delivering, and I, and I noted it because it was right next to the place that I mean I was like at. Uh -huh. It's kind of just like my brain just kind of like mix, mix and matches my memories, right? Mm -hmm. And so I go into the CVS, and there's this old man who he looks like homeless, but he doesn't feel homeless, right? He looks like kind of like a like. He just looks disheveled. The way he carries himself, the way he talked to me, uh -huh. was it wasn't like he was a homeless man. It wasn't like, like I, I, he came up to me with a piece of paper in his hand. He's like, "Hey, kid, you want to? Uh, let me let me tell you some jokes, right?" Okay. He gives me one of the pieces of paper, and he has the other piece of paper in his hand. I don't really pay attention. I'm kind of walking around, you know, uh, grabbing the items I need, and he's talking about like, uh, he's just telling me jokes that are like out of a joke book. Okay. And then, like, I'm done with my thing, and I'm like, I'm about to walk out, and he's, like, telling me the last joke. He's like, all right, have a good day. I look at the piece of paper. I'm, like, about to give the piece of paper. I look at it, and it's completely blank. I look at his. His is completely blank. I give it back to him, and then I hear, like, as soon as I open the door to leave the CVS, I hear, like, this, you know, like, when uh, the police, like, when they're uh, telling someone to pull over, they do, like, a little, like, what? like a... Like a oh, light yeah, the, siren? The, yeah, they'll like the they'll do the siren in a specific way to notify you to pull over. Yeah, like a, just a short like Murr. Yeah. It that happens, and then I look and I just see I, like it's this weird feeling. Like I don't I don't know if you've ever been in a situation like this. I don't think I I have it. Where it's like you just hear a bunch of like police officers like mumbling to each other, moving around, being quiet, like going like they're like going towards the U.S. bank, and it's just this weird feeling where I see a bunch of cops with guns going to a place. I'm like, I'm in serious danger, right? Like you're across the street from it in your dream. Yeah. Okay. The CVS closes, 
Like the behind me, the door closes. I look back, CAVS is empty and it's closed. I can't go back into it. I look back at the US bank and I'm like, okay, I'm just going to go this way away from where the cops are going and I should be safe, right? Mm -hmm. But then I see more other cops coming towards where I was going. And I'm like, okay, I'll turn this way. And then I see cops, it's just cops like kind of like surrounding the area. Mm -hmm. And then like, for some reason, like the cop, the number of cops, like just like go down to like five cops, I guess. And then I just, it's this man, this crazy man running out of the US bank with a gun. Right. And it, it felt so real. It, like it, I was, it was scarily real mm -hmm. hearing gunshots. And I'm like trying to like get to safety and it's like, I'm, it's the most afraid I've been in a dream in like a long time. How did it and end? Like, it ended like super abrupt because I woke up because someone called me. Like, mm. it was just super weird. Like, it's this situation where like you have no control and you're trying to escape and there's like nowhere to go. You've never seen, this is going to sound weird, but like you've never seen like a uh, a crime scene, but like you've never seen like a like what, what was happening in your dream, right? Like like cops around a place. Yeah, it's like like the only thing that I've come close to is one time I was helping my mom with something at her shop a long time ago, uh -huh. and I was sitting outside in the car waiting for her to leave, and there was just this this guy. I think he tried to rob like the liquor that's like next to my mom's workplace. Mm. Comes out with a gun. He, he's not really shooting anything, and a bunch of cops just around them just. They just easily like put him down. I don't think he was like willing to like kill anyone. He was just kind of using the gun as like to get the money and like get out. Mm -hmm. So I don't think I was in any danger, but it was just super scary. I was like uh, maybe like 12 when that happened. Mm -hmm. It's just super weird. It's just the feeling of a bunch of cops like storming a place and you have no idea what's happening. Like what the fuck's going on? What's wrong? Why are there this many cops? It's, um, I've never, I've never, like, seen something quite on that scale, but, like, I, like, it was weird, it was weird, like, I, I don't remember the exact situation, but it was, like, I was walking down the street somewhere, right, and I just see, like, a bunch of cops, like, pull up the place, but, like, like, when you see something like that, you immediately kind of just want to walk away from where that is. It's like, it's like, right? there's, like, a sort of panic button in you that's, like, wrong, bad, 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 right? But it's, like... Walk the opposite direction as far as possible. But there, there was, like, what's, what's even, what's even sort of, like, more eerie, I guess, is, like, when, like, a bunch of cops pull up the place, but, like, they don't, they get out of their car, but they're not, like, getting out quickly. It's not, like... It's like almost like you can tell like they know they're like there's some potential danger in it. So that's why they're taking it cautiously. They're hesitant. And, yeah. And that sort of like makes you like freak out even more because it's like. I I know cops to be like. Shoot man. Do do like super assault people. Like why are they even like sort of hesitant for something? And it's like oh fuck if they're hesitant I need to go. <laughs> it's a weird feeling. Like, I guess maybe it's just I've never, like, I've never been in true danger, I guess. Mm -hmm. Or I've never, like, perceived the danger. Like, maybe I was, like, on, like, a, like, people on roller coasters are scared for their life. But me, I wasn't. Maybe I just didn't perceive that danger. Maybe there's a lot of times where that happens. Where, like, maybe there's, like, a potential, like, you could have been injured. Or you could have been killed. I forget what you just exact, didn't notice. I forgot the exact situation or something, but it was, like. I was like talking to like somebody one time and they were like, oh yeah, my friend had a gun on them at that time when it was happening. And I was like, what? Why? I don't remember the exact situation. I remember I, like literally that's all I remember. Like I remember the feeling of going, what, huh? I don't recall the situation. It was like, so, been... it was like some like some situation where like I was like in mild danger and like uh, me and the friends were just like leaving and like other fr and like he, like he told me that like uh their other friend had like had a gun on them at that moment i was like oh uh, uh huh why the f why is he packing you <laughs> like why, why he's strapped have, how many times were you uh checked in 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 school in like high school uh like back check oh me none none i i like i always manage okay so you know how they would always do it by like row or something 
Mm -hmm. I always somehow managed to avoid it. <laughs> like, not, not like I was like actively like trying to not get bag checked, right? But it was just like, I always like somehow never ended up getting picked. There was one time I, I've, I've, I've been checked, I think like three times. Mm -hmm. I think one for every year, except for senior year. Yeah. Um, one time I, I was, my, my dad had used my bag for something. It was like a long weekend, and I think he went out to fish or something. Mm -hmm. I remember walking to school with my bag, and then I get to class, and I'm looking through my bag for a pencil, and I see a packet of cig uh, like cigarettes. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, immediately in my head, I'm like, I need to get rid of this immediately. Mm -hmm. So I find, I find the trash can while everyone's walking to class, where I'm, I like... I put like I like wrap it in like a paper, uh -huh. so it looks like a paper ball or something. Yeah, like it just looks like I'm throwing away some paper. Mm -hmm. And so I throw it away, and in the next class, they do the like they called me up to get like checked. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I just dodged the biggest bullet of my life. I don't know if they would have bought the excuse too. Like it's not it's not wrong, but like I don't know if they would have bought that. Like there's like. <laughs> Like, that's an excuse, like, a person who's guilty would come up with. Like, it's the truth, though. <laughs> Such a... Super weird. Have you ever had a coincidence like that? I, I probably have. There have been, like... Uh... Or, like, have you ever dodged a bullet? Okay. Hey, we're way over time. I'm gonna yeah. end with this story. Um... It's happened to me twice. Once in middle school, once in high school. So, um... I never was bag-checked in high school, right? But, um... One time... What is that? It wasn't that we were bag -checked. It was like... It was like, um... Something that, like, after an assembly or whatever, like... They had, like, all of us be bag-checked, right? Mm -hmm. But, like, that was like... I, mean, I never got bag-checked, like, in a class, but it was, like, the one time that, like, they had checked us, like, in an, after, like, an assembly and we're like, hey, show us your bags, right? So, All right. Uh, both times, <laughs> both times I had a condom on me, <laughs> and in high school that's not too bad. <laughs> high school I just avoided it. High school I just avoided it because like when they were like, "Oh, we're gonna do bag checks," I was just like, I like looked in like my bag and I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna just put this in my pocket." <laughs> um, but uh, even if you got caught, it's like it's more like at least you're being safe, you yeah, know? Yeah, but like I had one in middle school. Yeah, that's bad. In eighth grade. And like I did get bag checked. But um <laughs> So what did you do? I like I, I forgot that I had it in there. So it was sort of like that situation that you had, but like it was different because um uh there was like in like the backpack I had in middle school, there was like a certain like li little compartment in it that like you like if you just open up the bag you don't see it. But like if mm -hmm. you like if you know where to look for it, like you could just zip it open, right? Yeah, um, easily. Um so I had it in there, like, and like they opened up my bag and then like, um, I'm like looking for a pencil and I'm like, uh, like, I don't have like a, I had like pens, but like that class, like the class I was in required us to use pencils. Um, mm -hmm. so I'm like, I'm like scouring my bag and I'm like looking all over for it and like open up that compartment and I see a condom and I'm like, oh, <laughs> I ne I nearly got dunked on. <laughs> I nearly got got. <laughs> Man, they're not doing their job right. They aren't. <laughs> and that dog does not do shit. I swear to God. <laughs> Bro, I legit... I, I'm, I'm not... Uh, That's my favorite video of just the guy in the elevator be like, Man, this motherfucking, dude, this motherfucking dog ain't doing his damn shit, bro. <laughs> like... I got a whole pound on me. <laughs> he's just like... The dog's like rolling around the floor. And he's like petting it. <laughs> um, I legit... I walked out of... I was walking in like... um, I think this was... It was it was it was twelfth grade, right? And um, I'm like walking through I'm like walking through class because I'm going back to class after I used the restroom, and I just see mm -hmm. some I just see some some goons, like having like bottles of vodka, in their locker, what? and they're just like sipping out in the open because it's like I mean nobody would nobody would bother to check during class like they like they very rarely actually ever did check during class, right? So they're just like yeah. sipping sipping the vodka out in the open. And I'm just like, you know, if I was an asshole. I would totally report you guys, but I'm kind of just so astonished at the fact that you're getting away with this that, like, I'm going to leave you alone. 
God, people got away with so many stupid things in high school. So stupid. Very Stay safe, fellas. Stay safe. <laughs> put, on a, put on a rubber. Put on a rubber. Bag it. Don't be a fool. Cover your tool. <laughs> Go read some manga. Uh, have lucid dreams. <laughs> um, read a uh, good night, Poon Poon, if you're ever feeling down. Uh, read good night, Poon Poon, <laughs> when you're in an emotionally stable place and are confident <laughs> in your happiness that you'll be okay after reading such expenditures. Don't listen to this man; he's lying to you. Uh, read Komi-san whenever. Read good night, Poon Poon, after a heartbreak. It will help you. God, that is the worst advice anyone <laughs> ever gives. <laughs>